on the same server. Like it was like our our fraternity house experience playing Modern Warfare was off the charts. It was like one of the most fun I've ever had because we were instead of having headsets, we were literally opening up the door and just screaming across the hall to each other as we're playing. So. Man. Everybody. It's Tree here with CEI Esports, and we're in the Bay Ridge area of Brooklyn, 84th and 5th at Brooklyn Game Shack, and we're here for another episode of Game Hunt, and this time, I got somebody that is very, very special and near and dear to the team. It's the Jad Man, Director of Esports, Jad What's up, my God, how you doing? We, we, we are excited for this episode. Man, yo, I'm telling you, like, you have to understand, getting this man... To make an appearance, full body appearance in and Bay Ridge. On, in Bay Ridge, in Brooklyn. Bay Ridge. How how do we get him to Bay Ridge? To Game Shack for a game hunt. I gotta be the luckiest person. I, enough gushing. We here on another hunt. We have something in mind in particular. Turns out Jadman has not really have too much experience with the GameCube. So we'll be looking for a, a very special title that's special to me anyway, and hopefully he enjoys it too. Maybe have him pick one of his favorites that he wants to try out, and then we'll give you a little bit more. So stick with us. Let's get in there and see what it's looking like. Just a look. I'm not gonna lie, the first Ultimate Alliance was fire. It's a good, it's a good series, man. Good game. RIP. Wow, oh, man. Live 08. Madden 04. With Vic? No, nah, that was a good game. I felt like everyone played, everyone always used Vic. And a just, lot. just straight. Scrambled. Straight. As soon, as soon as you get a hike, gone. Just straight drop back and out. We used to run, we actually used to run at my high school, we actually used to run like tournaments with like the baseball team, the football team, like Madden was, like this was the game in high school where like it was like, you just had to play, you had to play, like that was it, like that's how I got in, like for me I always did sports games, so like for me like Madden, like I know everyone, FIFA was a big one, mm -hmm. but for me I had to figure out Madden because I like, that was like my, that was the only yeah. thing I played. No, Madden, Madden's always been like a good game to have in the in the lineup. I feel like nowadays it's it's just a, a more hardcore fan base that actually plays Madden now as opposed to before. It was just genuinely so fun. The, the graphics though, compa compared to, then, to but back then though, when still, it came out, still was really listen. Telling you, 
PS2 graphics, man, back, you know, when they first came out, it was really like playing a movie on, like, in the game. But nowadays, you compare it, of course, it's, it's rough. But we gotta appreciate it for when, you know, for the times. And shout out to uh, to Robbie P. I know he, I know, I know this is. Rob! This, this, this is Robbie P's game right here. Head coach. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Rob, it's for, it's for you, Rob. It's for you. <laughs> special, special. Like, when I first played this game, Vector Man, back then, when you would play, like, a Sega game, usually a lot of these games would be, like, kind of lighthearted, right? So, like, games like Toy Story was really, like, prominent at this time. But then you get a gritty game like Vector Man, and it's just like, you got this guy, he's fighting to save the Earth, and he came alive from like a trash bin like it's like what kind of story is this that we're talking about and it was this good old fun like like shoot 'em up kind of game like i miss that we don't we don't really get games like that as much anymore and the holy field boxing holy field that's the craziest thing is like when you actually look at like these like sega games like the titles in terms of like what was out during that time like it's like very straightforward it's like this is what it is like yeah. it never got to that point where like mad like madden really started the, 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 the change of of some of these games like to me rbi baseball like i remember being i remember being in cornell i remember being in cornell and we had an old school system like and, and playing rbi baseball like we weren't playing we weren't playing MLB the show. Like we were playing RBI like, baseball in yeah, the locker room. Yeah. Like it was fun. Good times. Good times. Formula One. Formula One. Now hold on. I just seen something. Where did it go? We're gonna have a call back. We're gonna shout out Johnny real quick. Jolly Green. We were just talking about this on the pod. Little paper boy action. He remember all of the hard times and the, and the yeah. terrible memories that this gave him. That dog still goes crazy. <laughs> it's for you. It's for you, Johnny. It's for you. It's for you. Took a peek, and in the front of the store is the section of games that we're gonna look through. I'm hoping to pick up a super super gem. Jad has no idea because he he's never played the console. But we're looking at that GameCube. Let me get to that. All the time, hold the N64 titles. I had, I had, I, I, I just had to come weasel my way over here because we all know N64. That's my baby. That's the original Smash system. Nintendo, y'all did something. Your PlayStation was scared of y'all, bro. PlayStation was scared. They said, yo, we got this game on a little 3D. Everybody want 3D graphics, but the, but the 64 though, with, 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 with the, with the analog stick and all the little C buttons on the side. Y'all was really killing it. Y'all had the best. We, we're not gonna, I'm not going to gush too much. Y'all know what y'all doing. It's here. Our target that we're looking for is here. I found something that would be amazing to get, but since you don't have as much experience on a GameCube console, it, was, it wasn't one of your big things, I think if you just take a look, and if something gravitates towards you, I think we should just pull it out and see if we can give it a try. But just know, I'm going to cover that up. Don't look more there. My target is in this front area, so maybe do like a reverse. Maybe, maybe start from right to left. Right, start from right to left. But take a look, man. How, the, would anything stick out? Have you played any of these titles maybe on another system? I mean, I see Bomberman back there. You gotta love Bomberman. Obviously, 007. 007, of course, of course. Agent Under Fire, classic. Mario Party, obviously. Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, Mario Party was killing it when it came over to the GameCube. Fuck. Hey, get, get in there, Jad, man. Come on, Jadwick. See, I don't know what Super, I don't know what Super Mario Sunshine. And this is, and th these are my targets over there. And, and for me personally, I've always had a love for Nintendo. 
GameCube is near and dear to me just because how much I wanted it and I was able to get it when I was younger. Uh, you know, and Mario was a big character for me and, and especially coming off of the Nintendo 64 and Super Mario 64, which was, and, and in my opinion, is still one of the best games ever made, hands down. Sorry who doesn't agree. Uh, but then you got Smash Bros. Melee, the sequel that came out for GameCube, and Super Mario Sunshine, the follow-up to Super Mario 64. Formula was different, but it, it was a great game, and I think that those are some gems that anyone who owns the console need to touch at least one time. But you never know. Could be something else. I also see Big Air. Big Air back there. And I know you on Shredders. Yo, look at the way this man's eyes just lit up. <laughs> so you know what you like, man. You, you, you have a taste. I got, I got it's a, a flavor. I got a little idea. I think we're going to be able to make something happen. This Mega Man here, too. Mega Man Legends, love that game. A lot of people didn't. Controls were a little wacky, but the game itself was was cool for the time. I, I really enjoyed it. Resident Evil 2 for the original PlayStation. Yes. So Gauntlet Legends for N64. That was the one game as a kid, like when I was growing up. I don't know why I gravitated towards it, but like it was like one of my favorite games playing. Yeah. And I remember it was like. I think that was really my first introduction into like playing games with other people outside of sports. Yeah. Because I remember like my buddy Jared, like I remember we used to play that all the time. And I would spend hours and hours and I was just obsessed with the game. Yeah. Like it was like finish on the baseball field, get home and play Duke. Oh my god. It was like one of those things where like I between Goldeneye and between Duke Nukem, like that was to me like the evolution of like getting to modern warfare for me from, from a yeah. shooting style. Yeah. Like that's that was like my evolution. It was like that. It was Goldeneye to Duke Nukem. Yeah. To obsess with that. And then when I got to college, Modern Warfare. Yeah. Modern Warfare, like in college, like I have so many memories of being, I have so many memories of being with the baseball team, playing, like, instead of going out to bars, instead of going out drinking, like, we would chill, all of us just playing online, and then when I got to the fraternity house, I remember, it was, like, doors were open, we were all playing on the same server, like, it was like, our, our fraternity house experience playing Modern Warfare was off the charts, it was like one of the most fun I've ever had, because we were instead of having headsets we were literally opening up the door and just screaming across the hall to each other as we're playing so man good times good times yeah you know as wonderful as that story was that we heard from the jad man for some reason in my head all i heard was fraternity and it just reminded me how luxurious this man's lifestyle was from a <laughs> from a young age that's why he's the director it's we're having a good time here it's awesome man. It's but this is what it's about. Like this is this is really like when we actually think about like when we came up with this idea of like coming to the game stores. It's like we wanted to go back and like like relive our like childhood and like see the games that we actually used to play or see the games that we couldn't we couldn't play because we couldn't buy or like our parents wouldn't buy them. Yeah. And now we're at a point where like hey we could actually like utilize this and play with it and have fun. And I think the other thing too is like the nostalgia of it, like being back. It feels like, good. In a game store, like in a place where, like, where we used to actually come, but like it's it's shrinking, right? The, the, especially with Game Pass and all these other ways of like keeping things digital. I think like an experience like this for kids, for parents, for educators, for anyone, like go check out these stores, like go visit, like come to this location, go to other locations. Bay Ridge, Brooklyn Game Shack. Yeah, come like, visit. This, this is what it's all about. Like an hour, like an hour or two, like out of your way like go 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 on a weekend nice day like it, 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 this this is this is what sure, show you something yeah, yeah. on display street fight a live action on VHS do you guys do you guys even know what this is <laughs> have you guys seen one of these before these were a thing not no more but they, they were a thing 
slide right on in. Right on in. That's that's entertainment right there. Oh man. Success, success, success. We was able to pick up a prime copy of Super Smash Melee. Wonderful game. And especially we we haven't really touched on it. We've been on Ultimate, but it'll be good to take a look at this. But not only that. We found Jadman, a prime RPG game, perfect for him. South Park, the fractured but whole. For, for vacation. For vacation. For his, you know, he dad's about to go on a, a, a hiatus and kind of leave his team high and dry as if he never cared about us. <laughs> but we'll be fine. He's trained us very well. And, and the, finally. The, the, the big, for me, the big, the big get. Gauntlet Legends for the Nintendo 64, a classic. Definitely a childhood favorite for many, including Jadman himself. And uh, tell me how you feel, man, like about these pickups. How, how do you feel? How excited are you to actually put your hands back on these things? I'm excited. I think I think the other, I think really, I think the biggest thing from today was like the takeaway is that getting in the store, being able to like learn from you, like hear stories about other games that I may not have played, uh, but also actually play an arcade game as well at the same time. And I think just getting the feeling back of like being a kid again and like being in the store and like like seeing seeing all the, the, the different titles from Sega to Game Boy to Xbox to PlayStation, PS2, Xbox, like all of that. And I think that's really what like a day like today makes it fun to get out to see this stuff instead of just relying on like Game Pass or instead of relying on the, the Microsoft store to, to, to make a purchase. Actually getting out coming out to the store like browsing around and spending you know 20 30 40 minutes looking at things and just getting memories or just talking about it and like hearing other like people. I can see it even the smiles and stuff as you're talking about this stuff yeah. like I get the energy man I get it and it's wild too like we were in there for maybe like 20 30 minutes and there were people just coming in yeah. and out in and out in and out and you wouldn't think about it until you actually go check yeah. it out and like these, like I'm happy that these stores are around. I'm happy that we have this opportunity to actually start to get our staff back out into stores like this, but also educate everybody else out there that like, hey, like go support these local shops, like come back. Like these stores have, these stores have a lot of memories and these stores have a lot of cool experiences. Even if you don't buy anything, go take a look. because. You know, there's an arcade game in there that yeah, like, you, yeah. can, you can play around with. A little, a, little, a little metal slug or something like that, man. I, I think it was a good day. It was a good hunt. Very successful. So first and foremost, we got to thank you to the man Jadwick for being a part of this episode. And thank you guys for watching. It's your man, Tree. And we'll see you in the next game hunt. Don't know what it is yet. You got to stay tuned to find out. Catch you guys. Diggity, 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 diggity